Welcome back to another episode of Inbound Marketing in 5 Minutes a Day. I'm Cody Swan of Gunner Technology and today we're going to look at engaging our prospects. Uh, last time we developed a profile, so to speak, for the typical Jane or John Doe for uh, cupcakes. We looked at their profile, we looked at their posts, and we created a profile, a paragraph based on observations or a couple paragraphs to describe what this person is into. Now we're going to look at uh, our first level of engagement. And this first level of engagement, we're not going to be promotional. We're not going to say, hey, go check out our cupcakes. Uh, hey, I know where you can find great cupcakes, anything like that. We're not even going to mention cupcakes unless the prospect mentions, mentions it first. We're just going to basically introduce ourselves or join the conversation. If you're at a party, for example, and you walk up to a crowd of people, you don't just start hawking your business and telling them where they should go to get cupcakes. No, you mingle, you discuss, you respond. That's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna look at getting started with that. So let's go back to our profile here, and we're gonna go look at our stream, and we're gonna go limit our stream to only cupcake prospects here. And so basically, uh, here's Stacy Leeds, one of our prospects, who reposted or reshared a uh, song by Bob Marley. And uh, we, so basically, the simplest level of engagement right here is just clicking plus one. Just that's basically saying, "Hey, Stacy, I liked your I liked your post. Good job." So there's no you don't want to be too overt about uh, about uh, plus oneing people because then it'll just be sort of obvious that you're marketing to, to, toward them. And remember, no one likes to feel like they're being marketed to. So uh, we can read this post here. And um, basically, plus we can plus one it, and we can comment on it. If you comment on it, one thing to avoid is saying, great job, love the post. That's what plus one is for. If you love it, you plus one it. Um, if if you if you uh, if you have something specific to add, then you can comment on it and add something to it. So the last point here is telling a child not to do something really doesn't explain the function of the object. So they're going to try new ways to use it. So we can basically say something like so true about telling a child not to use something. Um, just the other day, I told my child not to pull on the iron cord. What's the first thing he does? Uses it as a lasso to try and rope the cat. So you're adding something to the discussion. You're not just saying, oh yeah, that's a great point, I love it. See, this, this person right here is a good example of what not to do. Don't write good post. That's what the plus one button is for. Um, just like if you're at a conversation, having a conversation with someone, and they say, uh, they say something like telling a child not to do something really doesn't explain the function of the object, so they're going to try new ways to use it. You don't say, uh, oh, great way to say that. You, you basically add something to what they just said, whether that's, uh, you can politely disagree um, and start a conversation, um, or you can just say, you can add something to their post, but don't just say, hey, good post, because that's what the plus one button is for. So going along here, um, we're gonna go to someone else, and so here we have Danielle Lanes, who's talking about uh, buying something from uh, Target. So you can plus one, you can comment, you can say comment and say, I bought the same thing, I love it. Um, you can plus one it if you just like the, uh, like the object or you can share it. And you can say, here it says add circles or people to share with. So, um, and up here you have a little title to add something to it. So you can say, um, I'm going today to get mine and then say add circles, cupcake prospects. Um, you can pick, this basically says who you're gonna share this with, who is able to see this. So right now, only people in our cupcake circle will be able to see it. If you want um, the entire public to see it, you can click public. If you wanna see only people in your circles, you can click your circles. And if you want to see 
uh, if you only want people in your extended circles, meaning people that have been circled by people in your circles, then you can click extended circle. We're gonna focus on just our cu cu cupcake prospects here and share that. So we've looked at the three basic levels of engagement that we're gonna do right now. Notice we didn't create anything original in our own stream. We just basically interacted with people on their current comments, or cur current inter interactions. There's one more here. Uh, you have the plus one, you have the comment, you have share, and then you have hangout. If you click hangout, you're basically requesting to video chat with that person. So basically, that'd be a little awkward since we really haven't established uh, any sort of connection with them yet. They don't know who we are. So that would be kind of weird. So we're not going to do that. Maybe as uh, they circle us back, as we've been on this for a while, they're familiar with who we are and what we're doing, uh, then we can start a hangout. Uh, but right now, we're not going to do that. We're just going to focus on plus one in commenting and sharing. Now, this is very surface level engagement. The important things to remember are don't be promotional, add something to the conversation, and 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 basically take it slowly. Um, this is something that you should do on a regular basis, on a daily basis, is skim your prospects and engage with them. We're not going to be promotional. We're not going to be. Uh, we're not going to be loud. We're just going to sort of quietly add little things to the conversation. Let people know that we like what they're doing, uh, just to sort of like get their attention, and, and they'll they'll seek us out. But that's, that's the surface level engagement that we're gonna stick with for a while. And that's what you should be doing 30 minutes a day at least at this point to start engaging your prospects.